So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is kind of going to be a bit of a mix of different things. We're going to be taking a look at some trophies that I've gotten on my moose grind over on Medved Tiger and also some other trophies that I've gotten in multiplayer. And of course we are starting off here on Medved as you can see and we just took down a pretty big level 4 moose. Also dropped another moose there while I had the opportunity but this is the one that we're interested in and this this guy does actually end up making diamond at 281.04 which is not bad for a level 4. I would absolutely love for a rare with this rack to turn up as a level 4. I think that would be so so cool and obviously would have a chance at being a super rare if it had this rack. This rack normally does make diamond, sometimes it doesn't if it has a bit of a tighter spread and then it doesn't make diamond in my experience, but quite often it does end up making diamond. So whenever I see these big level 4s with this particular rack I get quite excited and I think a, a rare diamond with this particular rack would look pretty awesome. Now taking this second one here with the recurve there, I managed to make a good vital hit on him and as you can see he doesn't actually go very far before he goes down. I have really been enjoying using the recurve. The only reason I didn't use the recurve in the previous clip was because of the situation that the bull was actually in just being a little bit difficult and the fact that there were multiple bulls there that I wanted to try and take out. So I decided to just go with the rifle on the previous clip. But this one I did really want to try and use the recurve and as you can see absolutely smoked him through the lung through the stomach through the liver back into the intestines and actually hitting the back leg there the 700 grain arrows do not mess around the penetration on them is absolutely insane and i just love using the recurve it's such a lot of fun and a really beautiful diamond smaller than the previous one but still absolutely gorgeous then moving on to this clip and once again I'm using the recurve but not for a diamond this time. This time for an absolutely beautiful rare. This time we have a melanistic bull moose and you can actually see I took out another bull on my way into this zone. I managed to take out the other bull and not spook these guys and then thankfully actually managed to take down the melanistic here with once again a shot going straight through basically everything. Heart, liver, stomach, obviously the lung, just absolutely absolutely just destroying basically all of the organs on its way through and just a gorgeous looking melanistic moose the melanistics are really really beautiful and very very rare to actually see so i always get excited when i come across a melanistic and it was really fun to take this one with the recurve sticking with the theme of rares my biggest piebald turned up recently here on Medved. A really nice size max weight estimate level 4 piebald bull. Now once again I'm going to try and take him with the recurve. There I was just running to get him to go alert. He faces me and I managed to put a vital hit onto him there with the recurve. The smaller bull also going aggressive and trying to kill me there and I did take him out quickly. But of course the one that we're interested in is this beautiful piebald. This guy actually has the same rack as my biggest melanistic bull that I've ever shot which I got in multiplayer but it's just a really nice looking set of antlers and a really really nice looking piebald. I'd had a couple of gold piebalds previously but they had racks that I didn't really like whereas I really like this particular rack so I think this is a really beautiful bull. Of course the piebalds are absolutely stunning. I do wish they were a bit rarer but they are just absolutely gorgeous. Now for these next couple of clips I decided to try something a little bit different with the recurve. Now I needed this bull to go aggressive which thankfully he did and then you're going to see me just moving around just trying to get the perfect angle because I'm going to end up taking him with a hip shot. Now this is something I'd ended up practicing on a few cow moose and smaller bulls that had gone aggressive on me in the past and I realised that I could normally actually pull off a hip shot into the vitals and I decided that I would try it on a couple of big, you know, diamond potentials. And this was a, obviously a guaranteed diamond with his estimate. And uh, yeah, it paid off and I actually managed to get a diamond with a hip shot from the recurve, which was really, really cool. Something I never thought I'd end up doing. 
but it's just something a little bit extra fun to try and do you know while i'm moose grinding it's the same with using the recurve in general you know that little bit of added challenge when trying to take the trophy trophy animals down whether it's rares or diamonds i like that because it breaks up the monotony of a grind and then trying something like this just adds to that challenge and so i really really enjoyed it and he's a really really big bull at 286.42 really good weight as well at 611.15 kgs and yeah a hip shot with the recurve i got a diamond i'm really happy about that and uh, that wasn't the only time that I ended up trying this particular way of taking down a diamond. This time we have a guaranteed diamond level 4, which actually has the level 5 looking rack that I've shown in a previous video that I'd never seen before. Once again, I get him to go aggressive, he stands perfectly, I take the hip shot, and I heart shot him. He goes down instantly from a hip shot with the recurve, double lung heart. I could not believe this from a hip shot with the recurve. Now, I know that we're close and, you know, obviously that removes a little bit of the challenge being so close, but you've still got to try and control where that hip shot's going to go, which it doesn't always work. I, you know, I've had incidences when I was practicing where the arrow will go too high or go too low and it just doesn't get quite where you need it to be but i've been practicing and practicing and that's why i ended up feeling confident to try and take these two guaranteed diamonds out with this particular method and it really paid off that was really awesome and we have a very nice sized diamond level four here which is so interesting that i grinded for so so long you know trying to get that first great one moose and i never saw a level four with this rack and then on this second moose grind this more casual grind I have seen so many level 4 moves now with this rack. It's really strange how that ended up going. Thousands and thousands of kills, never saw a level 4 with this rack. And then suddenly in the probably a thousand plus that I've done since the last great one, then I've seen a lot of them. Really, really interesting. Now, for the next couple of clips, we're going to be moving over to Revon Thule, and we do have a couple more Diamond Moose clips before we get into some other species. And that is because I did actually try to move my moose grind over to Revon Thule, because things were going weird on Medved, herds were just disappearing without need zones being deleted, they would just stop showing up, and it was really, really odd, and just lots of odd things happening, so I thought, okay, I'll go and give Revon Thule a try. It was not a good move. Revon Thule is being so inconsistent for me with respawns. Basically, I only get consistent respawns in the northern part of the map. So every now and again, I do run through and just shoot a few moose there with, with my fiancé as well. We'll just go and slaughter some moose up on the northern part of my Revon Thule. Because maybe one could spawn. But the, the centre of the map and the southern part of the map, the moose just don't seem to show up properly it's really bizarre but i did end up getting a couple of nice diamonds that being one of them and this one here a nice guaranteed diamond here absolutely beautiful this one i decided i'd take with the recurve and i just love the moose on revon Thule. they look so majestic in this environment i really really love it and i would love to get a great one moose on revon Thule because i see pictures of you know great ones that other people have shot here on revon Thule, and they look so beautiful beautiful the only great one i've shot off of revon Thule was the white tail in multiplayer but obviously because it was in multiplayer i didn't get time to like take pictures and stuff like i normally would it had to be quite a rushed kill because it's multiplayer and you know you can get kicked lots of things can happen in multiplayer kicks crashes uh, hackers joining the sessions there's so many things that can go wrong in multiplayer so i just had to get it down as quickly as possible but i'd love to get a great one on single player in Rev on revon Thule and actually be able to experience you know taking the pictures and actually enjoying seeing such a majestic animal in this environment because revon Thule is beautiful and these animals are absolutely gorgeous and super happy with this a big size diamond at 284.97 just a beautiful ball to take with the recurve. Now, moving on to some other clips. We have some more from Revon Thule. These are going to be from multiplayer, though. So we're starting off with the level 3 Capicale, because I seem to find these all the time whilst looking for a diamond mountain hare, which still eludes me. I still cannot find a diamond mountain hare. 
The two diamonds that I need in the game are the mountain hair and the green wing teal. I'm not really counting bobcat as being different from the Mexican bobcat, but those kind of as well. I would still like to get a diamond that just says bobcat just to have that as well. But the two really main ones I'm missing are the green wing teal and the diamond mountain hair. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to find either of those, but I have found other things, including that really good sized diamond capicaly. Then, whilst looking again still for mountain hares, I end up spotting a landed brown hybrid level 5 Canada goose. And this is one of my better shots ever with the 22. First attempt at actually shooting at it, managed to hit it in the head with one of the 22 bullets. I was really pleased with that. I didn't think I was going to hit that, especially not first try. And to get it in the head, I just really wasn't expecting that. It's a shame it wasn't a brain shot, but it's still a skull shot and it brought it down really, really quickly. And yeah, that's definitely one of my better shots ever with the 22. Just to get it on the first try, I was super, super happy with that. And it's a nice sized diamond. I believe it was slightly bigger than my previous brown hybrid diamond. So I was really happy with that. I wish that the brown hybrids were actually rare for the Canada geese. It's a shame how common they actually are because they are really beautiful birds when you take some time to appreciate them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, once again, on Revon Tuli in multiplayer, and it was moose drink time, so I decided why not just check a few moose drink zones, because you never know, could end up finding a great one moose in multiplayer. It has happened to people, and you know, I found a great one whitetail in multiplayer, so who's to say I might not find another great one at some point. And I spot this absolutely gargantuan level 3 whitetail just resting off to the side of this particular lake. And... Even though I've shot a lot of diamond whitetail over the many whitetail grinds that I've done, this still got my heart racing. And that's the thing about this game. I still get excited, whether it's a level 5 moose or, you know, a big level 3 whitetail. I still get really excited about that. And I was in my head saying, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. This is a really big whitetail. This could be a new PB. And he actually is my new personal best whitetail at 273.16. I could not find one in my taxidermy manager that's bigger than this, even from all my whitetail grinds. So I do believe this is my new PB and he is absolutely huge. A really, really big buck. Absolutely stunning. And the whitetail are just so beautiful now. At some point, I really, really would love to get another Great One Whitetail and actually see see them, you know, on the hoof with the new models because they look great in the lodge, the ones that I've got already that, you know, once they updated the models, the ones in my lodge, their models updated too. But I would really love to see one out and about, especially on Revon Thule and get some, again, get some pictures of it because that's something I love in this game is spending time to appreciate trophy animals because it, for me, adds to the experience and that's always what I'm looking for. So I'd really love that to happen at some point. But at the moment, obviously focusing on trying to get another moose. But yeah, so, so happy to find this white tail. He is absolutely awesome and so happy to send him to the trophy lodge. Now, I mentioned that the other species that I really need a diamond of is the green wing teal. So, I actually decided I'd head over to New England Mountains in multiplayer, something I've not done a ton of, and put some decoys out at a few different lakes and see if I could get a level 3 green wing teal. Well, I never found a level 3, but I did find this. A level 2 female piebald green wing teal. And isn't she just stunning? I mean, comparing her to the other females that are there, what a gorgeous bird. Mostly white with some of the brown feathers and then, of course, those green wing feathers. Absolutely gorgeous. And I did think that, that I'd actually seen another one that looked kind of piebald, but I think it was just an, a common. But this one was most definitely piebald. And it came in once and actually spooked before I could get a shot at it. And that was really unfortunate. I spent about an hour and a half to two hours trying to get this bird to come back in. And I actually thought when I spotted it that it was a level two male. Um, I guess I just saw level two and thought it was a male. But it was actually a female. And she is just gorgeous. Like, that is a beautiful, beautiful bird. I know probably a lot of people prefer to get, you know, a male or a good size gold or whatever. But even the females for a lot of the, the rare birds are just absolutely gorgeous. I've said it about the things like the leucistic uh, widgeon over on Revontuli. They are beautiful as females. 
And I think that goes for the piebald green winged teal as well, because what a gorgeous, gorgeous looking bird. I would love to get a male at some point to go with her in the trophy lodge, but just a just a beautiful looking animal. I mean, that is just gorgeous. I was so relieved when I saw her flying back in and just watching her come into land. I was just awestruck by how gorgeous she was. Such a beautiful species in general. And then to see a piebald like this is beautiful and the piebald green winged teal are actually rare they're not like the mallards where the piebalds are really common these are actually a proper rare so i was super happy about that but talking about proper rares i found this this was at the same lake in a different multiplayer server and i was actually hunting green winged teal and no teal were really coming in nothing interesting the ones that were coming in and i look across and i spot this flock of gold knight and immediately i knew when I saw this bird, what I had on my hands. wasn't. I didn't have any decoys out for them, nothing like that. They just came in and landed randomly whilst I was hoping to hunt green winged teal, which I've been having struggles with. They only seem to come in in very small numbers. But watching it float in, just to make sure that this was what I thought it was, my heart was racing. I was like almost hyperventilating it because this is such a rare, rare thing to find. That is hybrid golden eye. Oh my gosh, these things are so ridiculously rare. They're like the hybrid hazel grouse. Only I've only ever seen maybe one or two posted ever. They're ridiculously rare. There's actually a couple of different variations for the hybrid golden eye. They're both really, 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 really rare. Like stupidly rare. I never ever thought I'd get one, especially not on New England mountains. Like, I always go on multiplayer on Revan Tuli, put decoys out for all of the different ducks down on the southern island, and I thought if I ever saw one, that's probably where it would be. No. On New England mountains, when I didn't even have any decoys out for Goldeneye, I wasn't hunting Goldeneye at all. And I always thought how it would be so cool to get a hybrid Goldeneye, but the chances of actually getting one were so ridiculously slim. And... I just can't believe how this happened. I really can't believe it. These are so rare. And for it to just show up like that when I wasn't even hunting them. For it to just land there. And for me to actually spot through the flock and not spook them. This is why I always spot all the ducks. I knew straight away because they have more white on the face. This particular version of the hybrids. Have like m extra white going up on the head. Their heads look really different to a normal golden eye. And as soon as I saw that extra white I knew what I was looking at. And it being multiplayer, as you can see, you know, in the chat there, it is multiplayer. Other people are harvesting things. My heart was going ten to the dozen. It was just absolutely thudding because I knew what I was looking at. That was the thing with the hybrid hazel grass is I didn't know it was a hybrid 100% until after I'd shot it. With this, I knew. And missing that first shot... Oh my gosh. Because, you know, like I said, with multiplayer, things can happen. You get kicked, you, you crash... And like I said, it took me about an hour and a half, two hours to get that piebald to come back. And imagining, you know, if this had spooked off, I would have spent so long trying to get this to come back. But then you could still end up crashing and never ever see it. So actually getting this for everything to line up perfectly is just absolutely insane. I am so lucky, like unbelievably lucky. I might not have the greatest luck with great ones at the minute. You know, my grinds have been taking extra long in comparison to a lot of people's, but I seem to have extremely good rare bird luck. Like, I don't know how, but all of my luck seems to be in rare birds in multiplayer at the moment, and I will absolutely take it because these things are insanely rare. You will not see a lot of these posted ever. And yeah, I'm so incredibly stoked about this. Basically, all the hybrid things, apart from like brown hybrid Canada geese, things like your hybrid golden eye, your hybrid hazel grouse, your hybrid Eurasian widgeon, they're all extremely rare. Hybrid grey lags too. And I never thought I'd get any of the hybrids. Hybrid uh, teal, Eurasian teal as well, they're really rare. And I've been really lucky to harvest a few of the, the different hybrids now and I'm so incredibly stoked. I'm still going to keep trying to see if I can find the rest of them because I love the rare birds. They are absolutely stunning. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. The most unexpected thing, the most unexpected find wasn't even hunting them. And I get this. Absolutely incredible. 
But that is going to be it for this video, so I really hope you have enjoyed it. There was a, a lot of stuff in this video that I was really excited to share. Um, the hip shot diamonds, the that beautiful piebald teal, that white tail monster, and of course that hybrid. I, I just could not wait to share this, so I'm really, really excited, and I hope you will all enjoy. And yeah, that's going to be it for this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.